and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Mardu enchantments in best of one. That's right, it's best of one day Monday that we're playing here today. And we got a, a different kind of best of one deck here. We had a couple of aggro decks that we started the day off with. And now let's go with the control side with Mardu enchantments. This one, I feel like could go could go pretty poorly. Um, you know, we got a, a bunch of uh, cards that may not work too well, or it could go really well. We don't know. That's why we're going to play the games. Um, so the, basically, what we got going on here is Fires of Invention is going to be a big part of the deck, where if we can have Fires of Invention in play, we get to play two of these expensive, clunky enchantments a turn. That's going to be a, a big thing, is getting that extra mana from Fires of Invention. Because we have a bunch of Expen expensive clunky enchantments you know playing revenge of ravens you're just like okay well that's four mana it's it's powerful whenever they attack us with a creature they lose a life we gain a life you know it can really slow the game down but do we want to spend four mana on it eh, i'm not so sure about that outlaws merriment awesome win condition you know every, each one of your upkeeps you get a new human creature token you know you get a random one of those those three different ones pretty good but you have to untap with it you don't do anything the turn you play it so like playing cards like this um you know theater of horrors doesn't do anything the turn you play it got to untap with it then you maybe get a card if you do damage to them then you get to play an extra card you know all these things like they're not really affecting the battlefield too much and they're kind of expensive so having a card like fires of invention where you get to play two of them each turn can can really help out so that's so fires of invention is going to be a key card here uh, we got Starfield Mystic to make all of our enchantments cost less. So, <clears throat> that's about the only synergy it has. I really wish it said, like, whenever an enchantment you control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, you draw a card. Or, like, some other kind of thing besides just getting plus one, plus one counters. Um, hey, what's up, boot? Um, but then, besides that, we got Removal, Clarion, Prison Realm. We're trying to play a longer game here and letting these enchantments take over. Like, you know, Dawn of Hope, Theater of Horrors, Outlaws, Merriment, they can play a long game. And so that's what we're trying to do, is play a really long game and let those take over. <clears throat> of course, also, when we have Fires of Invention, um, then in play, then we don't need to actually use our mana so that we have other mana sinks. We have Theater of Horrors and Dawn of Hope, which are both mana sinks. We have the castles as well. Two white castles, one black castle. It's possible I should be playing a red castle also to be able to pump like Dawn of Hope tokens. But I'm going with the mountains here because I'm going with basically lots of tap lands. Once you have Fires of Invention in play, having tap lands isn't really that big a deal. <clears throat> but of course, in, until you have it in play... Uh, it can be. So I'm going to play a couple of basics just to have some non-tap lands also. Um, Cavalier of Dawns works pretty well with this deck. You know, it's it's going to be like removal for Planeswalkers. Like, just like Prison Realm is. You know, like we can destroy any of our opponent's permanents at all. Give them a 3-3. And if they kill Cavalier of Dawn, we can get one of these enchantments back. So we got tons of enchantments. The one Divine Visitation can turn all the Outlaw Merriments tokens into 4-4 four, four Angels. Now, they, they still have, they're 4-4 four, four angels, but they still have the other abilities. So they'd still have, like, it'd be a 4-4 four, four trample haste. It'd be a 4-4 four, four lifelink haste, um, and so on. Um, I'm pretty sure that's true. Hopefully I'm I'm correct about that. I know it works with, like, Legion War Boss. They still have haste. And then we got a couple of Realm Cloak Giants for some for other sweepers to go with the Clary Ons. All right, we're playing this in best of one. Ooh, we need to get some Marty Sleeves. I didn't update to Mardu sleeves. Let's see. What do we want to use for Mardu? Use that Boros one. That Boros one. What do we got over here? Anything enchantment-like? That's kind of enchanting. Okay. So, yeah. We want to play against slower decks. Um, I am... Yeah. I don't think we will beat some McFlash at all. <laughs> You think I'm wrong? Okay. <clears throat> this deck's going to get crushed. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. I don't know. We're playing it over in Mythic, so we're, we're giving it like the hardest test it can have. Okay. So they don't have haste still. According to Twitch chat. 
Clarion's really good against a lot of aggro decks in best of one. Hello. Temple of Scryumph. Hmm. So my thought was to be able to play Clarion on three before playing Starfield Mystic. But they may not be a creature deck. Oh no, we got like a mirror type match. Alright, well got punished for not playing the Starfield Mystic. I could have played Outlaws Merriment this turn. So got punished there. <laughs> yeah, we got a mirror. <laughs> yeah, there's not too much enchantment hate in best of one. Yeah, I got, got really punished for not just playing the Starfield Mystic on turn one. We, we're just a turn slower now. Or play that on turn two. Why do they got to have Doom Foretold? <laughs> yeah, Doom Foretold ruins us. There's two things that ruin us. They're like Simic Flash, a bunch of counter spells, and then also Doom Foretold. I needed to draw land. Um, to, to get to Cavalier of Dawn that could destroy the Doom Foretold. Uh. Oh, that's the two on my flinker. Okay, I thought that was the one two that's gonna do a damage. Right on schedule. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Wait, are they dead? Did we just win this anyway? Are they dead? Yeah, I was thinking about it. Yeah, I almost scooped. And then we just, we killed them. They just gave me back the the prison realm, but then they didn't attack with our two one. I just I was kind of assuming they were gonna attack with our two one to gain two life, but then they didn't. Whoa, we won! <laughs> Never surrender. <laughs> Thanks, Rex. Yeah, they kind of gave us that one. Yeah, hitting the three three ones in a row definitely helped. Um, at that point, though, on like any of the creatures would have killed them because they were at seven, right? I don't really need more temples. Oh yeah, attacking with two one was still death. Of, yeah, that's true. Gaining two life still wasn't enough. I guess just they should have just bounced a, a token, like a three one token. Love struck beast. It's too big. We're gonna need a big old, bigger bugle. Hmm.
Love playing this Mii song on Guitar Hero. Yeah, this is a good one. Why can't you be time wipe? Pick up my Starfield Mystic. Whoa, Flaxen Intruder. That card's messed up. Play Venerate Luxadon. 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 Uh, done. Locks uh, done. Darn. Is that thing a giant? No, it's not. Okay, good. <laughs> I was. I had a little panic set in there. So I can make a 1-1 one -one with the castle. Or get this Theater of Horrors in play. We'll get that thing in play. Ooh, alright. No March of the Multitudes. Good thing is, like, we don't have to be too scared of March because of Revenge of the Ravens. But obviously, if they had, like, March Flourish, that would obviously be scary. They've used two flowers so far. No, just give me one more turn. I was going to start making one ones. Please don't flourish. Please don't flourish. Please don't flourish. No flourish. Luxodon. Luxodon's not as scary. Okay, that's not as scary. Yeah, it'll be probably... I mean, yeah, what's, so the question is, what do you think will be the returning Theros mechanic, Devotion, or the Enchantment one? Um, I think probably Devotion. I think that was a, a well-liked mechanic previously. See, that's pretty good. They go march to the multitudes, don't even cast. What do we got? Fires of Invention? This deck's sweet. Or we can get to this point of the game. Uh, sure. I'll take a land. Land's cool.
Tristani. The good part is they can't even attack. Because they're Revenge of Ravens. More theaters. So we're basically looking for... Um, Divine Visitation. Be a good one. Yeah, they, they kind of just left themselves dead on, on board by doing that. They were pretty dead anyway, though. But yeah, by, by tapping those creatures, we had lethal attack in there. No, Ixalan's Binding rotated out. That was in Ixalan. Um, there is Conclave Tribunal, but I, I'm not playing that. I'm just playing the four Prison Realms for that. All right, so... Hey, at least our deck's got two wins so far. For those of y'all saying that our deck was going to get rolled. We got two wins so far. Yep, I saw those sleeves there, Quiltine. I think I'm probably going to get the cat extra life one. Don't think I'm going to get the, the pony sleeves. Never been anything I ever got into. <laughs> Ixalan's binding would be would be good too against Oko. So that seems so that makes sense that it rotated. <laughs> That's true, Conclave could deal with Doom Foretold. Right now I only got a couple answers of Doom Foretold with the Cavaliers. Put on the bottom against Temple of Epiphany. <laughs> yeah, I don't... No, I don't have any information, Balding Yeti, about Historic. You can play Historic right now on Arena if you just make a Historic deck and then join the just the normal play queue. You'll get paired against other Historic decks. So you can you can play. It's, it's hidden. Like It doesn't tell you that you can play anywhere. But you can play Historic right now. But I don't know when they're going to have like events or actually advertise it or anything. It, 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 I don't know. All right, Outlaws Merriment is like my best win con against Jeskai. So let's keep the other one there. So basically, if this is a spell, I'm putting it to the bottom. But we want to land. Yay. So this looks to be the Cavalier version of Jeskai. Yep. Which could be tough for me. Especially if we don't draw any more lands. Cleansing Nova rotated out, right? 
Pretty sure Cleansing Nova rotated out. Yeah. Is it M19? So yeah, don't have to worry about it too much. Yeah, they could have planar cleansing. I have to be more worried about these cavaliers that are killing me right now, though. Why don't you die? I'm known for my excellent time. I'll protect Gross. you. So jealous. I wish I had lands and fires of invention. So jealous. I really should have seen that coming. So, like, saving Clarion could, like, give, like, a bunch of these creatures lifelink later. I don't know if they have a Red Cavalier, I'm dead. I mean, I'm dead to a red cavalier anyway, so like, there's not really a reason to clarion on here. Yeah, like the way to win this game is like another merriment. But they're the one with fires of invention in the fires of invention mirror, so I think they got this. Well, that's absurd. All right, two and one. We have not had a I'm, I'm happy that we're two and one even without having like fires of invention early. You know, we had it like that other game basically after the game was already we already won. The second game there. Hmm. So you know like we play Starfield Mystic. Then Prison Realm only cost two. Alright, Mulligan. Okay. Get rid of one of these Donifopes.
Unfortunately, our next land's a temple, so I won't be able to activate Dawn of Hope. But I kind of need to. It looks like we're just dead here, though. I, I mentioned this earlier. I have not played against Gruul where they don't have... So I don't need this. Every time I play against Gruul, they have Turn 1 Pelt Collector. Like, I haven't ha I haven't played a game where they have not had Turn 1 Pelt Collector in so long. <laughs> they just play one, one, one drop, and it's just always in their hand. Just always there. Alright, two and two. I think that's six games in a row now. With either Gruul... Or like I guess one was mono green earlier. But they have turn one pelt collector. No, you don't mulligan for it. Like you you don't keep like a hand that's like a, a decent hand if it doesn't have it, you don't just mulligan. But you have the those four, but then you also do have the once upon a time, so once upon a time helps. I wish Cavalier of Dawn was an enchantment that its cost got reduced by Starfield Mystic. All right, we have turn three Merriment. Yeah, it's possible if they bring back enchantment creatures in Theros, it's possible Starfield Mystic will be a lot more valuable. After Theros, we, you know, it's it's unclear, but it's it's possible. All right, it's all good, Mystic. You did your job. So do I keep fires of? I guess I keep fires of invention, even though I have nothing to do with it right now. It just makes fires like just keeping that makes a lot of my other draw steps better. Turn three Merriment's pretty strong. Ooh, more Merriment. So they block that, they take one, two, three, four, five. This is six. Not quite lethal. No, you have to block the three one. <laughs> You're at six. Oh well. Well, that was pretty sweet. Turn three, Outlaws Merriment. Honestly, just kind of takes over. All right, three and two. Good, good record here. Yeah, I've heard of Mythic with Mythic with Outlaws Merriment. Uh, if 
we just draw a red source, we can have turn three merriment again. We need to draw this red source. That's not it. Come on, red source. No! Not the Goblet Shrine. Yeah, can we trade? I'll take I'll take this mountain. I'll give you a castle. Darn. So I think they have Black Lance Paragon. Oh, they had Shock. I was gonna say, I don't want to attack them for two and then they attack back for three with Black Lance Paragon. Like, honestly, I probably just want to block. I guess I have Dawn of Hope to make a token for the Paragon, though. Yes, it was running Scions and Ember Cleave. Yep, it is. Um. Yep, it's up on YouTube right now. Um, I think that's the link. I think. Maybe that works, maybe it doesn't. Redland. Spawn of Mayhem. Hmm. I don't think I shock in for... A shock in for merriment. So that's twelve. This is three, four, eight, nine. That would put me down to three. Ugh. All right, we're dead to a lot of stuff. Yay, no Ember Cleave. Alright, we're down to three. Uh, I was hoping that we would get the 2 1 Life Linker. So, obviously, if they have Black Lance Paragon, I'm dead. We're dead to a lot of stuff. Yay, no Paragon. We get to untap. Life Linker. Let's go. It's rude. Um. I'm gonna play this and activate Dawn of Hope. Hey, Zinzin! Zin. Thanks for the Twitch Prime resub there. You're awesome. Thank you, Zinzin. Zin. I'm gonna mark you down here. Yuck. I don't like that. Anyway, thanks for your Bant Legends before rotations and your Elemental Arc Bow decks now. They're so fun to play. That's awesome. Glad to hear you're enjoying them. All right, so drew a card. We get we got an extra land. Make it another life linker. Yeah, 
Noxious Grasp. Um, I probably need to kill the Stormfist Crusader. I don't really want to lose life each turn and let... Let my opponent draw an extra card every turn. Outlaw's Merriment, though. Just out grinding. Oh, yeah, we're, we're dead to Ember Cleave, like, 100% of the time. Wish I could double spell, because we need a Fires of Invention for that. I can't even activate Dawn of Hope twice. I guess I just play this thing. Okay, not Ember Cleave, that's good. I think we got this. Now we have keeping Dawn of Hope activation available. Yeah, Cavalier of Dawn making three threes before. It was cool. Cool. They didn't kill the lifelinker. That was best case scenario for me. We get one of each. draw cards. Let's see, what am I going to do? I'm going to do Cavalier of Dawn, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, because I can just play Cavalier of Dawn and Theater 4s. <clears throat> and I'm going to just destroy my 1, 2, turn it into a 3, 3. So I got a 4, 6, and a 3, 3 on defense. Lag. Murderous Rider. <laughs> I 
how Wizards does all the special events. You think they're going to, like, on Arena, you think they're going to do one where it's just every creature you play is a 3-3 Elk? Pretty sweet. We're doing it. <laughs> How good White Cavalier is. Yeah, White Cavalier is awesome. It destroys any permanent. You know, so like you could get to destroy planeswalkers, enchantments, anything with it. Yep, the anti Oko tech. Gotta destroy Oko with Cavalier Dawn. Turn Oko into a 3-3. Say, how do you like... How do you like it? Getting turned into a 3-3. It's not cool, huh? Not cool. Alright, real slow hand. On the draw. It's just always turn one Pell Collector. Can they just ever not have turn one Pell Collector? 100% of the time. 100% of the time. Turn one Pell Collector. How's the enchantment Simic matchup? Like, Simic Flash would destroy us. That's Simic Flash is probably like the worst thing. We play in a bunch of expensive enchantments. They get countered very easily. Um, Simic Oko. I don't know. We have we haven't played against Oko decks, but it's probably not great. Fires of Invention. Not Fires of Invention. No land over there. Pass the turn. Pass turn. Yeah. This is what they get for, ha for having... <clears throat> for having turn one Paradise Druid. They get nothing else. Alright, so now if they attack me, they take two and I gain two. So they only have nine attacks that they can do before they die. Fires! I'm looking for like my other Revenge of Ravens. I want to just keep stacking up Revenge of Ravens, Revenge of Ravens, together. So even if they have Questing Beast, they just do 4 damage to me. So they're down to 13.
All right, and now I still get to activate Dawn of Hope. I make a 1-1, one, one. Life Linker. All right, so them not doing anything on turn three, four, or five really set this up for me. Maybe not even turn six. They did the Pell Collector on one, this on turn two. Okay, that's the card that could still kill me though, I guess. Could it? They can't really attack. If they attack, they die. Well, they just attacked. They're dead. I have eight power. Now they're at eight. Sweet. Even if they don't attack, I get to like Clarion and give my creatures lifelink. Give the 7-7 seven, seven lifelink, at least. Alright, 5 and 2. We're going to play one more. Yeah, Theater, Dawn of Hope. Really nice. Especially when you got lots of mana. Yeah, this is like an opponent bad attack day. Kind of is. Okay, so we have... Play this, Gry. Yeah, I guess so. Because this castle is going to come into play tapped also. Whoa, we're playing against Gruul. They didn't have turn one Pelt Collector. Okay, I can't I cannot say that they always have turn one Pell Collector now. We played a game and they finally did not have turn one Pell Collector. Unless this is not a Pell Collector deck. Then I can keep saying it. We'll see. If they play like some lame gruel card here, then we know it's a Pell Collector deck. Oh please don't kill Starfield Mystic. No. Oh, that hurts. Because I was going to be able to start dropping Revenge of Ravens next turn. Yep, so this is a Gruel deck, so. Uh, that really hurt. Alright, well. GG. All right, look for a sweeper. Not a sweeper. We keep on playing like the one more game and it's the one more game that is killing me. Sweeper. Not a sweeper. Um, dang, the old turn two bone crusher giant, turn three spellbreaker, turn four questing beast, turn five scargan hellkite. That's the dream curve. Besides turn one, they didn't have the turn one. Yeah, we did. Oh my gosh. They're just not killing me. Okay, now they're killing me. Okay, so we went five and three with Mardu enchantments. We lost twice to Gruul. We defeated Gruul. Also, um, lost to Jeskai Fires that had fires and I didn't have fires. And then we beat some other aggro decks. 
um, and some other mid-range decks and stuff. This was pretty good though. This is a this was also pretty fun to play. Honestly, like yeah, this this deck played pretty well, I have to say. Like that last game, if they just don't have, if they didn't kill my Starfield Mystic, I think we had a, a better shot. We still could have lost a, a longer game. We weren't definitely going to win or anything like that, but that killing my Starfield Mystic just made me have, like, turn three do nothing, and that really hurt. Basically, basically time walked me. Yeah, obviously, if we, if we would have drawn a Sweeper our last turn and just destroyed those three creatures, then there's a good, shot, good chance that we win if we would have drawn Sweeper, for sure. Um, yeah, I was really happy with the Realm Cloak Giants. Glad we have them in there and everything. I'd have to say it worked pretty well, you know, like it wasn't wasn't exactly sure how good an enchantment deck over in Mythic would have been, but I have to say I think the experiment worked well. Revenge of Ravens was cool, Outlaw's Merriment is just awesome, and getting to play those two cards on turn three, especially the Merriment, getting to play Merriment on turn three after Starfield Mystic is awesome. Um, so there we go, yeah. You're looking for an Outlaw's Merriment shell right now? Yeah, this is this was a fun one right here. Okay, so that's what I got here for Mardu Enchantments. If you're watching on YouTube, please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. Also, leave comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. You know, Outlaw's Merriment, Revenge of Ravens, all that kind of stuff. Leave those comments over on YouTube. But that's it here for Mardu Enchantments. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.